Well, we are back at it. I'm with neighbor Vinny with Pelican Bone Outdoors. And so about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that, I came down here with my uncle and we fished all weekend and caught two redfish. Now you may be saying, that doesn't sound too bad. For down here, it's terrible. The redfish are on a decline and there's probably several factors to it, but we're actually gonna try and go tag some redfish if we catch them today. Now, Vinny says he's got the secret mojo to catch redfish, I don't know. <laughs> he said the people I fish with might just not know how to fish. Something's chasing. I saw a mullet right there. Um, so yeah, back to what I was saying <laughs> before the old squirrel moment. We're actually out here, we're gonna try to target some fish. Um, if for some reason we didn't, we don't catch fish today, I'll be here all weekend without Vinny, but Vinny's just here for the day. Um, I'll be here all weekend. We'll definitely make that a video. If we catch a redfish and get to do our whole little video today, this weekend will be another video. So we'll see how it goes. So I have never fished top water for redfish. I have thrown a matrix mullet. Seems to work pretty good. It's got some decent noise to it. I'm assuming that's just water running from the... Yeah, that's the water that was full in the thing. Okay. Because I'm like, there's a lot of water running to this bilge pub right now. That's a lot more water than I thought. I don't know why. Ooh. There you go. Oh. Like, if you walk it too fast, it dives. So you gotta, like, you gotta keep popping like that. So just a bunch of, bunch of micro pops? Yeah, so like as this as you're reeling, keep reeling and just keep popping. Okay. And actually you can slow down reeling and it'll give you a lot of turn. But you gotta keep it going. So whenever it whenever it turns, you wait when, once it gets to that end, or right before it gets to the end, you won't be popping it again. You wanna keep a little bit of slack in your line, you don't wanna keep it tight. Okay. So you, you can't you can't reel faster than it's walking. So okay. You want to go straight. So when you pop, it needs that slack to turn. I think I'm too ill. I think I'm too like uncoordinated to fish this. I almost said alert, but that ain't the right term. I guess, it, like you said, it takes practice. It's that secret fishing hole, you know? <laughs> the fish don't even know about it. We're high centered right here, I think. Oh, you heard that? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Now that may be uh garfish too, just let you know. No, it ain't, Frank. Redfish. The biggest redfish ever. A big forty inch redfish. I see one right there. Look at him. He just ran all up in that house. What kind of reason? Somebody runs up in your living room, you ain't looking to eat. <laughs> Bring your food. I'm bringing food. What in the, oh, it's a ladyfish? Is that what I got? What is it? Yep. <laughs> you snagged the ladyfish. Snagged the daggum ladyfish. Oh, you ain't at all what we're trying to catch, buddy. Big old red tail. Alright, so I just want to say if you don't use Cajun lures, definitely go order some if you do swim baits, because look, they got a little pocket for the hook right there on it which i kind of screwed up i know that's me that's not on the bait design at all but this is the cajun lure main squeeze um, the redfish don't want top water so i'm going to start throwing this and see if maybe i can get one of them to decide he wants a snacky snack you get a hook oh come on where's my reel oh <laughs> starting to think i might be bad luck i already know oh <laughs> I looked down for a second to make sure I wasn't stepping on anything and my cork went under. There we go. Missed it. I, I did what you did. I missed the real handle. <laughs> oh, take it. Take it. Come on, baby. You know you want it. Dude, I know I'm not that terrible of a fisherman. Maybe I just need to start bringing bananas with me. It'd be the opposite, you know? Two bad luck omens make a good one. Look, I don't want to keep you, redfish. I just want to molest you for a second, stab a tag into your back, and put you back in the water. Like, I promise you'll live. Maybe they're just not hungry. 
I was beating you, they might not be. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, and there's one right behind me too, so. Oh, I'm not. I'm not what, down, just down the canal? Oh no! You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. How did he come off of there? You don't look like you set the hook good on him, huh? Obviously not, Frank. Just an update, folks. It is a whole heaven over high. We hadn't gotten anything. I might be fishing too dark in here. Uh, this video is never going to end. How are you reeling it? This little handle right here. So that's what you got to do. You got to find a little dead end pocket. Oh. I just had a bite. Oh. Got him. Yeah. You might have. You better get him to the boat first. Nice. Oh, let me get out the way. Let me get out the way. Let me get out the way. All right. Oh. To the boat, Frank. Oh. Losing, Frank. I'm not. Don't worry. Dude. Oh, look at that rod, man. Huh? Oh, I can already have it there. That'd be hilarious. Oh, look at that. Take the net. Yep. But with the board. All right. So, if you remember, we were talking about doing the tags. By the way, you're sticking one of my tags in them. <laughs> I'll let you. I'm still going to catch one. No, it's cool. It's cool. I'm still going to catch one. <laughs> Make so, sure you and what you're trying to do is prevent the slime coat. slime coat from coming off of the fish. I mean, right now you got to think how tired he is. He just probably put the fight of his life. 26 inches. Hold on, huh? let me let me get you a number written down, and you can put it all in later. I don't want to show you all that on camera because y'all be calling and then even know it because <laughs> it says reward on it. So. Which I believe the reward's a T-shirt, huh? I don't know. It's a million dollars. Make sure you call it us. It goes in the little seat. You see it in the little yeah, okay. seat like that? Yeah. And uh, that's just, that's going to be information to put it in. Okay. And we're going to go right back behind this fin. And I'll rank up. And we're going to go about an inch down or so. And a 45 degree angle. Ooh, jeez. And then pull it out. Give it a little tug. Oh, I didn't do it right. right. Every time I've done it, they got they stuck. Is the barb coming out? Dude, it's just like, look at this. Is the, the barb's broken on it, huh? Mm -hmm. barb. This barb. I don't feel loose. Nope. Alright, third time's a charm. There it is. All right, the boy is tagged. All right. So now, we have to release him in the water nice and gentle, all right? Here he goes. Come on, Bubba. Oh, I let him go too soon. <laughs> this ain't working out too good. Oh, is he swimming off? Oh, he is now. There he goes. <laughs> you put him up right. He's going. He's going. High five. <laughs> you stupid red fish. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. Weedless. Oh, sh jeez. Um. I can't even tell you if that was a bite or not. I just felt it. I ain't even getting any fancy. Do y'all see? Like, I don't know if y'all saw that. That bait came <laughs> like 900 miles an hour. I didn't have a hook because I'd have snapped off with that. I'm going to talk a little bit about what we figured out here. Just because I probably need a little bit more dialogue in my videos. Um, so we've been cruising around the marsh. And what we've realized is it's the dead end pockets that seem to be holding redfish. Um, so if you noticed, Vinny hooked up in a dead end pocket. We had turned around and were coming out and actually hooked that red fish coming out of that dead end pocket. The tide's really high. Last time I was here, high tide was up to the cement, but 
there was probably a good what three four inches on the cement today Vinny mm -hmm. so least. and yeah at least um, for the boat launch and so it's it seems to be pretty high so I don't know if it's the high tide that pushed them or just this time of year but we're in about two foot of water right now but it's just all broken marsh we've been fishing and it's unfortunately since Hurricane Ida that's what a lot of this area is um, I don't know if I said it with that last redfish but I'm using the the mad minnow by Cajun lures it's a this is the voodoo color it's black with red flake and a chartreuse tail that seems to be a good color in this area Chris actually refers to it as the port sulfur shed which is where we launch out of it's probably another 15 20 minutes down the road from here you want to see how good of a friend I am I'm giving him every opportunity in the world to catch next redfish I'm gonna have to stand up and catch another one. What he's not telling you is I'd already had my limit by now if I wasn't fishing with me just because it's bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's a pretty one. Look at him. You can get tagged. You can get tagged easy enough. Come here, little buddy. All right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me wet my hands up. I can handle you. You mind wetting that, uh, that board? The board. Look at that, dude. The shrimp. Oh. Thought I saw a shrimp popping. Hanging out of his mouth. Probably got a belly. Unless it, unless I caught the shrimp too. I don't know. Dang. Can't get this thing off of here. <laughs> mine mine just slid right off. You've been leaving yours outside? Oh. There we go. Make sure if y'all fish in Louisiana, you catch one of these, make sure you... Get that tag number, they got a number, phone number on there, call them with the tag number, they send you a little reward, and you'll get the when, where, and how it was caught, and how long it was, and everything. This is the puppy, back in the water. Alright dude, let's be ready. There he goes. Saving the redfish population, one tag at a time. Well, took a lot of work today to get to them two measly redfish i mean one had decent size i don't know what was the other what happened there the other one just saying <laughs> um but you've seen how tagging's done properly the second time, the second time. <laughs> but that's what it's about so if you catch a tagged redfish there is a phone number report it i think they give you a t-shirt and stuff like that um but make sure you stay on the lookout because i will be fishing all weekend at, and down here with my family so that should be going um go check out fishy af's website use code frank af find us on instagram facebook tiktok and wherever you get your social media pretty much also we have a podcast go listen to it uh I don't know what this one's going to be yet because I haven't recorded it. Last week's was me talking with Big Chris, and that's kind of comical. It's about an hour and a half long, but it's good to listen. I hope to catch you on the B-side of the outdoors.